Welcome to the National Nail Your Day Reports. November 3rd is National Nail Your Day. On this day, BGLO members issued BGLO members have been issued the challenge to wear their nail your or organization colors proudly all day. This purpose of Nail Your Day is to show our communities how sororities and fraternities give added value in society and across the nation and our respective communities. More importantly, they not only step or party, they vote. With the founding of the first African-American fraternity in 1906, the fraternity and sorority system in our communities have helped improve daily living when it comes to education, skill and job development, and health related projects. Many of these members have served as teachers, clergy, government officials, and business leaders in everyday life. To see BGLO members collectively wearing their nail yard on November 3rd will not only make a statement to their missions and aim, but will also serve as a visual reminder to young people like me that the act of voting is something to be taken seriously. Today, I have a member from one organization here to talk about what and who he will be wearing on November 3rd. But first, let's learn from him why voting is so important and how his organization has educated the masses on why vote and embracing the power of the vote. Hello, Mr. Jared K. Stubbs. We are happy to have you with us today. First, tell us why voting is important to you and how your organization has influenced you and others on about the importance of voting. So voting to me personally is a is very important. Our ancestors uh, fought and died for the right to be able to vote and uh, they sacrificed a lot. And the least I could do to repay that sacrifice and to thank them for that sacrifice is to go out and exercise my right to vote. There are so many things that happens that we can be a part of the voting process and get our voice heard and and, and be a part of who becomes somebody that's putting out laws and things of that nature. There's a lot of things going on in the country right now that a lot of people are upset about. And if they only knew, if they exercised their right to vote, maybe that person wouldn't be there to have made that decision. Or maybe someone that would have made a decision that you might have agreed with a lot more might be there. So. It's, it's, it's a right as an American citizen. It's, it's what my ancestors fought and died for. And the least I can do is to show appreciation and exercise that right. My organization uh, has a mandated program uh, for voter uh, enrollment, education, and mobilization. So we go out into the community and we're either, we either we spearhead or we become a part of something that's getting people registered to vote it's getting them out to vote and it's educating them on the vote. So that's a mandated program. Every chapter of Omega Psi Phi fraternity is mandated, which means they have to do it. Uh, it we're mandated to do. So that's what, that's what we do. That's what Q's do. And that's my feelings towards voting. Those are some important po points that you have made today. My peers and I have learned some great things from what you have said from what you have said today. Thank you. Now for our second question, what are you wearing now and what and who do you plan on wearing on November 3rd? So right now I am wearing my chapter shirt, my Zeta Chi chapter, the Fort Lauderdale Qs, Fort Lauderdale chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated and the Mighty 7D. This is my chapter shirt and on voting day, I am going to be wearing this shirt right back here. It says vote and the O in the middle is my chapter escutcheon. And uh, that's what I'll be wearing to go out and vote. Got it from uh, an esteemed uh, D9 colleague at Nail Your Zone on Facebook. So um, that's what I'll be wearing. That is a great choice. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I would like to thank our special guest for sharing his words of wisdom. Thank you, Mr. Jared K. Stubbs. You have certainly inspired us all today. Thank you. This is Jayla Solomon reporting from Youth Ops Magazine. Make sure to tune in to our next segment 
of the Nelia Day reports with my junior colleagues and I. Until then, when it comes to November 3rd, start thinking about who and what will you be wearing.